you may not recall because the video didn't do that great with uh, views, I did a video about Lily Singh, AKA Superwoman. And what NBC decided to do was to give her a late night talk show. Congratulations, they cut a promo and well, we about to break it down. Now, I've been uh, paying attention to a lot of other content creators, and they're saying that this show cannot be uh, decimated on the site. Like, they've been getting strikes and claims because of, you know, like, using the content because they don't want anybody ridiculing this. Well... What we're going to do is we're going to break this down bar for bar, because as you can tell, she's about to start rapping because, yes, it's it's 1996. Let's get into it. Hello, my name is Lily and I ain't no white man. What's and that's uh, <laughs> so, you know, her name is Lily and she's not a white guy. Pretty obvious. Um, I don't know who you're making a late night show for, but these are things that are insanely obvious. Of course, you're not a white man. And that's the thing that they want to push. They're pushing her super hard because she is a brown lady of color. And, you know, the the, the demographics are just going to be there. They're, they're, they're like, they know that they push this, their experiment, their YouTuber experiment, um, the demographics are just going to be there. So you know what, white man, we don't need you. We don't need your 60 some change percent of, of the population. F out of here. My skin got some color and it ain't a spray tan. Once again, pretty obvious, darling, because of your features, we can tell you are of, you know, it's some type of Eastern descent. It is not like uh, the reason I'm breaking it down like this is so I don't get hit with the copyright claim. <laughs> so melanin up in your late night now. So melanin in your late night as if uh, Arsenio Hall wasn't a thing. Uh, Magic Johnson had his own show, for, had his own late night show. Um, Keenan Ivory Wayne's had a late night show. Uh, yeah, they're all dudes. Has a black chick ever had a had a um, late night TV show, TV talk show? I know they've had daytime TV talk show. I remember Tem Tempest Bledsoe had a show. Um, Queen Latifah had a daytime talk show. So, I mean, she may be on target with that. There's there may not, because I can't recall it. I'm pretty sure BET or somebody tried it and experimented, and I just wasn't paying attention. So, you know, she, she points. She might be right. I know this is you, but I'm your late night host. This used to be a boys club, but I'm knocking down the doors to are you though? Because once again, I mean, uh, you're, you're talking about a boys club. Samantha Bee's uh, had a late night show, right? It's terrible. And I'm pretty sure yours is about to be. But <laughs> Samantha Bee had a late night show. You're not really like just tearing down all these walls that you think that you are. And plus, ratings got to be there, darling. So, I mean, I, I saw this. Um, I think Joey Salads tweeted like, yo, like what's the over under on how long this stays on the air? Good question. Cause I'm damn sure not watching it. Now a lady runs the show. I'm about to lead the way for y'all. Your body, your choice. Okay. So, uh, the clearly that was a cut, right? I mean, because she was like, I'm about to lay the way, the way for y'all. It seems like there is a bar or two missing and I I'm interested. I'd like to see, uh, I'd like to see, uh, um, what's the name for that? I'd like to see the uh, the extended cut. I want to hear all these crazy bars that she's dropping. Because right now, she's just spitting fire. That's all, you know? I mean, what's the five hottest rappers in the game? What's her name again? Lily, 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 and Lily. Because she spits hot fire. Now, baby, got a baby, got a Model writer's room look like a mini United Nations. More than 50% women and people are all races. And so your show is going to be 50% less funny, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> Cause like that's the thing. That's the whole thing about the diversity over meritocracy th deal. Is that okay? Yeah, you can be in this position, but are you effective? Are you doing anything? Are you are you an efficient worker? Are you you know saying are you bringing the laughs? I guess we go. I guess somebody else is going to find out. Not me personally, because I will not be watching this. I, I I've grown to despise network television. Just the commercials to the shows, like, ah, nah, fam. Like, I've been doing a lot more streaming, but even then, I'll stream a show, and I, like, I'll, I, like, I'll get Amazon Prime, right? I did. I got Amazon Prime because I wanted to see the boys. I saw the boys. I was like, oh, man, that's really good. Actually, I'm thinking about doing a video on A-Train because I really like what they did with his character. But, like, at past, when I'm done watching the boys, I'm like, hey, yeah, I'm going to cancel this shit. <laughs> 
because there's nothing else on here I want to watch. They do have The Wire. They do have certain HBO shows. So, but it's like I've already seen it. Like you, get nothing but a bunch of stuff I've already seen, and your new stuff does not is not that appealing to me. I'll admit, as an individual, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I'm not watching this shit. That's not because I had to. It's because I could. This is the new standard. So take notes, Holly. So, uh, yeah, and take notice, Hollywood, that's the rest of that um, bar, clearly, because this is it's just the most original uh, uh, <laughs> track you've ever heard in your life. But, um, yeah, ju- but, ju- but just because I feel like Jeff Goldblum in Jurassic Park. Yeah, you were so concerned about whether or not you could. You didn't bother to ask yourself if you should, you know? Well, see, this show is for everyone. There's no us, them, or other. Bullshit. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. This show is for everyone. Get out of here, white man. Oh, let me, you can't. Oh my God, you just you just hypocrit hypocriticized yourself. You know, <laughs> you hypocriticizer. <laughs> yeah, she really did. Like, oh, this like get out of here, white guys. This show is for everybody. You in the same in the same in the same track in the same track. She says this. Come on, man. I'll spice up your life, so if you wanna be my lover, I'll put me in LGBT. I'll take Sansa and her brother. Okay. Congratulations. Uh that we've all th- that's one thing we've always known is that in order to make it in Holly weird, you gotta be willing to do something strange for some change. Can you dig it? Like that's that we know this, okay? You've been run through. We get it, Lily, okay? <laughs> like yo you've definitely been finger cuffed if you don't know what finger cuffs is yeah both sides all holes i'm pretty sure okay allegedly hold on i don't because like i don't know how this is going to shake out but allegedly you know speculation all right i'm not sitting here disparaging at all but she just said it she's like yeah i'll bang Sansa and her brother even though like i mean let's be real give it say what you want Daenerys was the dopest, all right? <laughs> I was born in the hood, but a nice hood because it was Canada. I was born in the hood, but a nice hood because it was Canada. Yeah, I'm sure. How's Justin Trudeau's uh, blackface thing working out for you guys, by the way? Ah, oh, man, Canada. Like, <laughs> Canadians, uh, they always remind me of South Park, where Sheila Brofloski was like, yeah, you got to blame Canada. Like, blame Canada for a lot of this nonsense. Because you come down here with your maple syrup and your poutine, and you, you, you try to take over our culture and tell us what to do. I'm sorry, fam. Nah, we don't work like that as far as America goes. USA. Parents are from India. So I'm about to bring a new POV and make some noise. Wow. Could I, 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 honestly, I was not even trying with this one. No, thank you, 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 It's like you're doing this video for me, okay? <laughs> honestly, honestly, quote unquote, superwoman, you're doing this video for me because honestly, your bars are trash. This your entire thing is built up off of an ideology. Your entire show is built off of an ideology. The ideology of inclusion and equality and all these other things. Things that do not lend themselves to comedy or but particularly comedy because yo, comedy is offensive and saying things that people aren't expecting you to say. I expected each and every syllable that this woman uh, quote unquote wrapped in this uh, video. It's amazing. Okay, so apparently that's the end, and, like, <laughs> she said it for me. <laughs> she really did say it for me. No thank you, I'll pass. Hard pass, man. Oh my goodness. This is, this has been, <laughs> this has been a lot of fun, because she just comes out, she spits, she, she got her, she got a verse, she got her bars and stuff, oh yeah, I don't want, like, this show's for everybody, except for white men, get the fuck out of here, and then, at the end, like, she, she hits the buzzer, and no thanks, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with, I actually agree with Lily at the end of her video, no thanks, uh, but seriously, that's the end of this one. All the internet stuff. If you liked it, toss it a like, dislike. Yeah, go ahead, do that too. I'm not scared of you. Sub, if you enjoy my fantastic voice and you want to get videos like this. 
<laughs> you want to give me? Because it's just sitting there. No thanks. Really, no thanks. And let's go back to Lily. So if we could catch her right quick and have a decent shot. Because she's not an ugly chick by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, she she is a 35 percenter. She's just corny as hell and thinks she dope, you know? <laughs> eh, not really. Not really, darling. But, I mean, and you're not funny. But I got, that's not for me to decide. That is for the ratings to decide. So we shall see. So with that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you liked it, toss it a like, dislike. Yeah, go ahead. Do that too. I'm not scared of your sub. If you enjoy my fantastic voice, see when get videos like this every single day. Share because sharing is caring. And YouTube and bitch you didn't like. They don't like. You can see how they could not like me, right? And speak. Let me know. What do you think in the comments? Uh, you, I'm going to take it. Uh, take Joey Salad's approach. What do you think the over under? How long do you think that this show is going to be on the air? I am going to set it. And uh, because this is a project, because they want this to work so bad, they're going to give her like maybe a full season. Like this show will likely get a full season and then likely not be renewed or, you know, renewed with uh, contingencies. We'll see. But she's likely going to make it through a full season. And God bless them. I'm, I can't even say I won't cover clips because there will definitely there will, there will likely be a ton of clips coming through um, YouTube if you know NBC allows it. So we shall see. We shall see. So with that being said, until the next one, guys.